Hello everyone, welcome to Skyres Academy. Another Shiflam initiative today's five minute snippet is in on industrial disaster. It comes under GS paper 3 disaster and disaster management topic. As we have recently read a lot about many industrial uh, disaster incidents like gas leak in Vizag and the boiler blast in Tamil Nadu. So uh, the safety becomes important that what causes this incident, what are the statutes related to it and why they have occurred and what measures uh, could be taken to uh, prevent them in future. So two deadly industrial disasters, one in Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh, leading to loss of lives uh, occurred and it underscored the value of safety for them. Negligence and lack of safety protocols resulted in boiler blast. So statutes regarding boiler is Indian Boiler Act 1923. It's a very old statute and it does require a few amendments also. So basically it regulates the industrial boilers and it was enacted with the objective mainly for the safety of life and property of persons from the danger of explosion of boiler. The boiler is very technical thing. It requires a lot of safety precaution for its maintenance. There are several rules and it is very risky and it is that's why it is considered hazardous and a separate statute has been enacted for it. So you can understand how important it is to follow those provisions otherwise uh, uh, such blast will continue. So the background is, there have been such incidences in the past also. Uh, for example, NTPC power, point, uh, power plant blast few years ago in Ray Bareilly also killed many people. But uh, practically no measures have been taken. Concerns are lack in maintenance and operational procedures. Occupational safety demand that boilers are operated by trained professionals. But they don't actually hire uh, at, uh, they just uh, hire the uh, labors on contracts and they don't do uh, give much importance and attention to the safety protocols. There have been rise in incidents according to the National Disaster Management Authority. Over 130 significant chemical accidents have been reported in the country. That's a huge number, right? And all of those are preventable. So these are just the result of negligence, you see. So when it is just because of negligence, it become, becomes very important to take measures to stop them so that we can save people from getting injured, from the loss of life and uh, damage to property. So what preventive measures can be taken? implementation of safety measures, safety training of workers, appointment of trained workers, then there should be no laxity in the maintenance of machines, equipment and units. Incentives also should be provided to the workers as well as to the industry uh, to follow the safety protocols. Safety committees should be established, amendments are required in the Indian Boiler Act to make it more stringent punishment should be more grave. High priority should be given to the laws and protocols. Uh, what is the way forward? The response of central and the states to the industrial incidents is usually stand out of the public outrage. They, it is just because of the public built up pressure that they take actions. It should not be that way and the statute should be more stringent. A transparent inquiry is required and as I said earlier, the accidents are mostly preventable and they rarely occur in the developed nations because uh, their uh, safety rules and protocols are very stringent. So India must follow uh, them and uh, industrial, uh, industrialization should be founded on safety. That's all for today. 
If you have any queries, you can write us in the comments section. If you want us to make a video on any particular topic, you can write the same. And for more information, you can visit our website. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, do subscribe it to get notification regarding important videos. Thank you.